You know what I'm saying? Jane Dill. <laughs> I'm nobody in the game. I'm nobody in the game. I write a book. I got a podcast. Everywhere I go now, motherfucker, yo, Big Jane, take a picture. Can I get a picture? What do you think a nigga would want with the notorious big, man? Got a point. Come on, man. This shit is this shit is asinine, bro. He got a point. Is it possible to say? Man, I don't know, Gene. Well, I ain't gonna call him a liar because he obviously believed what he's saying. And 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 most of that shit look true coming out of his list, but being from the street, I would have to say there's no way he got the whole story. It's no way possible. I would also have to agree. It's no way possible anybody else really trying to find out what happened to Big. Hey, yo, DJ Vlad, why you don't do a deep dive on the Notorious B.I.G.? We all know what happened to Pac with some street shit. But as the years go by, I don't think what happened to Big was some street shit. I just, I don't. You say, why you feel that way, Wano? Because street shit is street shit. And it spreads throughout the whole United States on a certain level. And the story of what really happened to Big never spread on the street level. There is not even speculation. I 80% know what happened to Jenny, Jimmy Alpha, and I'm not Italian or Irish or was involved. I know a nice percentage of what happened to JFK. I know a nice percentage of what happened to Martin Luther King. We know a nice percentage of what happened to everybody but Biggie. Why is that? Just a question. Something that kind of... I wasn't the biggest Biggie fan. I think Big Pun was way better than Biggie. I also didn't like the fact that Biggie was hanging with the people that killed Tupac after they killed Tupac. I ain't like that interview he did with Joe Clear. See, going to New York, I understand something. Especially Brooklyn. Sarcasm in Brooklyn is like getting ketchup on your cheeseburger. And there's so many different flavors of it. But it's constant, it's there, and whether you ordered it or not, it's coming with it. So telling me a New Yorker in general is not talking shit about somebody is hard for me to believe. It really is. They are masters with shooting at who they want to shoot at, how they want to shoot at them. Masters. I don't think Big was Pac Fran at all. I think Pac extended an opportunity and Big took it. Not to say I think Big did him or meant him any harm, but I think Big was gone take every opportunity that came his way. And I don't think he was going to ever let anybody know what he was thinking or feeling. And I think he was going to play whatever role he had to play. That's just my thought. I could be wrong, but looking back on what happened and looking back at how things transpired after, it's pretty clear he was going to play whatever role he had to play. Or he was in a position that it was a dance dance. Maybe he was going to play them roles whether he wanted to or not. But you're not about to tell me he was his friend. Oh, man. Snoop. Snoop. Snoop Dogg. I love you. But, bro, you keep taking your salt shaker and sprinkling that shit on history, changing the flavor, especially where Tupac is concerned, that shit ain't cool. And some of us that's old enough, young enough to where we not your age, but old enough to where we were there and we were the ones buying those CDs 
We were the ones watching MTV, BET, VH1. We were the ones. Stop it. You have been the rap king of press. That's print, pictures, written words. Tupac was the rap king of media, period. Some of that shit you doing ain't right. And then the Tupac was your homie. And you ain't got nothing good to say because he was one of them type of homies. Then just don't say shit. You is like Uncle Snoop Dogg. You don't have to have a Tupac story. You don't. Because all of us that remember, his crew was MC Breed, the DOC, Rated R, Big Psych, Warren G was the one that was producing all that shit in between t Tupacalypse now. No, it wasn't just Warren G. It was Warren G, Live Squad, and Easy Moby. Them was the ones that were producing all the shit in between uh, uh, Tupacalypse now and uh, All Eyes on Me. But Y'all bloggers get on. Y'all don't interview Warren G and ask him about Tupac. That's who saved him when Death Row left him. It was the songs he did with Tupac, got him on them soundtracks, got other shit going outside of Death Row. But y'all don't ask Warren G about Tupac. Y'all don't ask the DLC about Tupac. When you go back to MTV through 92 to 95, you is not going to see Tupac with Snoop Dogg ever. But you will see him several times with them people I just named. And everybody eating off Pac. Pac been dead all these years. Everybody still eating off of him, being very disrespectful to his name. That shit need to stop. And this is why the others are doing better than us. Because you don't see the others speaking bad about their people who helped the other side during the uh, WW2. I said that the best way I could say that without getting kicked off. But believe this, it wasn't no regular person that told on Anne Frank. It was one of her kind of people. But you don't see her people telling our people that was one of her people that told on our ass, do you? Nope. The motherfuckers who found out which ones of them betrayed them took that shit to their grave. But we promote which ones of us get taken advantage of or are dumb enough to do stupid shit. We got to stop it. Now, mop.